But now we learn one of what I feel after studying this ayah, one of the most misused, and I would even argue abused ayat of the Quran in the name of our deen. When it comes to people's feelings and sentiments, you're entitled to feel sad. If there's something bad that happened to you many years ago, many months ago, ages ago, and you keep remembering it and it overwhelms you, you're not wrong. You can, you should seek help for it, but it's not wrong that it hurts you still. Yaqub alayhi salam is entitled to his grief. He's entitled to cry out. But when they complain to him like this and they yell at him like this, what does it mean? Sometimes people are in these tragic situations, but the loved ones around them or the family around them is not very sensitive. They don't want to hear it. They have no one to talk to. We're actually now kind of learning why has he been holding it in all these years? Because he had nobody to talk to. One time he opens his mouth and they snap. They don't give him a chance to speak. So what does he say? He says, قَالْ إِنَّمَا أَشْكُوا بَثِّي وَحُزْنِي إِلَى اللَّهِ I am only complaining. So he says, I am only complaining about what I've been containing inside and I'm finally letting it out. And even when I do let it out, I'm only complaining to Allah, not to you, not to anybody else. إِنَّمَا أَشْكُوا بَثِّي وَحُزْنِي إِلَى اللَّهِ This is what I wanted to share with you is one of the most commonly misunderstood ayat in the Qur'an. It's not taken in its context. When somebody says, I'm having this problem or that problem, people say, أَخِي, complain to Allah, don't talk to me. Because Allah says, إِنَّمَا أَشْكُوا بَثِّي وَحُزْنِي إِلَى اللَّهِ Yaqub alayhi salam said, I only complain to Allah. I don't talk about my problems to anybody else. What is the context of these ayat? In these ayat, he doesn't talk to his family because his family is not what? Supportive. He doesn't have anybody to talk to. He doesn't have anybody to share his grief with. When he says, I'm only complaining about my grief and I'm letting out my feelings and I'm only letting, expressing my sadness to Allah, what he's essentially saying is I have no one in my family that I can complain to. I have no one in my family that will understand my feelings. Even when I do cry out, I have only Allah to cry out. Even Rasulullah وسلم, when he had a problem in his married life, he sought, he sought outside counsel. He sought help from the outside. This is a sunnah of Rasulullah وسلم. You would say he should only complain to Allah. You have places in the Quran, like for example, a woman comes to the Prophet ﷺ and says, my husband is divorcing me and he's saying, I'm like his mother now. And she complains to him and Allah records her complaint, وَتَشْتَكِي إِلَى اللَّهِ But before she did istika to Allah, it's تُجَادِلُكَ فِي زَوْجِهَا She argues, she's debating with you about her husband. And then she complains to Allah. So she had somebody to go to first and she expressed herself. And of course then she took her matter to Allah. So it's oppressive to tell someone, don't seek help for your problem, you don't need to talk to anybody, just talk to Allah and that should be good enough for you. That is not good advice. That is the, advi that is the situation of some people who have no support around them. When you have absolutely no support around you, then of course you still on only have Allah. That's His circumstance. Mm -hmm.